Powerful explosions hit the main base of Russian military aviation in Crimea in evening hours of May 15 and set fires burning for hours, in long-range strikes the Kremlin said were American Atoms missiles fired by armed forces of Ukraine gunners. Local social media followed by regional officials reported more than 20 explosions of varying intensity audible in the vicinity of Belbek airfield. Russian officials in the occupation authority in the Kremlin-occupied Crimea in early statements said Ukrainian forces had launched long-range missiles at Belbek airfield but all the Ukrainian weapons were shot down. Later official announcements, among them by the Moscow-appointed mayor of Sevastopol Mikhail Razvoziv, said US-manufactured Atoms missiles had been used in the alleged failed strikes. The Russian officials claimed all the Atoms were intercepted by Russian air defenses, but some of the US-made precision-guided weapons had dispersed cluster munitions, prompting the authorities to warn the public not to touch them. Independent analysts and local social media contradicted the Kremlin narrative that a major Ukrainian missile strike against Belbek caused no damage. Comments in Sevastopol and Crimean military chat groups confirmed the launch of air defense missiles but, also, multiple explosions on the ground within the confines of the airfield. Independent analysts said recordings of major fires burning at the airfield for at least two hours following the strikes, and secondary explosions unconfirmed but reported widely by local residents as the fires burned, could possibly be evidence that the target of the Ukrainian missile strikes were not aircraft, but Belbek airfield's ammunition bunkers and fuel depots. A missile strike on a Russian airfield in occupied Crimea could have damaged MiG-31 fighters. In total, 24 airplanes and 6 helicopters can be counted at this base. According to Astra Channel 2 MiG-31 aircrafts, an air defense missile system, S-400 and a warehouse of fuels and lubricants were destroyed at the Belbek military airfield that night. Two Russian servicemen were killed, 13 were injured.